welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to see cylindrical coordinate system but before going to the cylindrical coordinate system let us revise what we did in last lecture in last lecture we started with curvilinear coordinate system and then we understood what is a coordinate system why do we need coordinate system then we went for the most commonly used coordinate system cartesian coordinate system whose coordinates are x y z spherical polar coordinate system whose coordinates are r theta and phi theta is polar angle phi is azimuthal angle then we saw the relationship between x y z and r theta phi we also saw the relationship between r theta phi and x y z these are the transformation equations between spherical polar coordinate system and cartesian coordinate system we saw coordinate surfaces coordinate lines now we will start with cylindrical coordinate system coordinates of the cylindrical coordinate system are rho phi and z phi is called as azimuthal angle here also it we call it azimuthal angle i will draw a diagram in order to understand these coordinates x y z axis then i will draw a cylinder i hope it look like a cylinder this is say, some point on the cylinder say point p whose coordinates are rho phi z this is point okay i am showing it here okay now if i look for the distance of point p from the z axis that is a perpendicular distance from the z axis that will be rho coordinate this is rho coordinates phi will be if i draw a perpendicular on x y plane and join it with origin i will name them o x o and i will name these say q okay so angle x o q is phi so this is angle is phi our second coordinate third one is z z is a distance of point p this is point p distance of point p from x y plane this is x y plane distance is this so this will be the z coordinate now we will go for coordinate surfaces i will take it on another page coordinate surfaces in order to understand coordinate surfaces i will quickly draw the diagram again so this is a cylinder again this is point p whose coordinates are rho phi and z x y z now rho is equal to s1 is our first plane this plane will be the surface of cylinder the cylindrical surface okay you can see this surface is rho is equal to s1 plane that will be the one of our coordinate surface second one will be i need to draw again this angle is phi and this is a plane right this is the plane whose edge is on z axis phi is equal to s2 i will name this plane phi is equal to s2 is our second coordinate surface and third coordinate surface will be z is equal to s3 this will be the third coordinate surface which is parallel to xy plane and at z distance from the xy plane now we will look for coordinate lines 
coordinate lines. These planes are going to intersect each other on some curve. We will call them coordinate lines or coordinate curves. Okay. So if I take this plane, rho is equal to s1 going to intersect phi is equal to s2. So rho is equal to s1 is curve surface phi is equal to s2 is this plane whose edge is on z axis they are going to intersect each other on this line so this will be our z coordinate line okay this will be our z coordinate line right intersection of these two now intersection of phi and z this is phi plane this is z plane their intersection is this so that will be rho coordinate line and intersection of rho and z plane so rho plane is curve plane z plane is this so their intersection is this curve so that will be phi curve okay that will be phi coordinate curve now we will try to find transformation equation between Cartesian coordinate system and cylindrical coordinate system. Cartesian coordinates are x, y, z. Cylindrical coordinates are rho, phi, z. I will draw a diagram for that. This is x axis. This is y axis. This is z axis. This is a point, say P, whose Cartesian coordinates are x, y, z. Cylindrical coordinates are rho, phi, z. I will draw a plane whose edge is on z axis. This angle is phi. I will join this point with x axis, with y axis. I will name those. So this is M. This point is M. This point is origin O. This point is Q. And this point is O dash. I will write. So this distance is X. X is equal to. X is equal to O N. This is X, right? X is equal to O N. In triangle NOQ, I can write cos of phi is equal to ON upon OQ. I will write this then, which will give me ON is equal to OQ cos of phi. I will use it here. Value of ON is OQ is equal to cos of OQ cos phi. You can see from diagram OQ and O dash P are same. O dash P is O dash P is rho. So I can which is equal to OQ. I can replace OQ here which is rho cos of Phi. I got one relation. Similarly, I will try to find for y. Y is OM. This is y. OM, which is nothing but NQ. Right? This one. Now in triangle NOQ, you can see sin of phi is equal to nq upon oq it will give me nq is equal to oq sin of phi now you can see oq is rho i will write it here nq nq is equal to oq sin of phi and oq oq is rho so it will be rho sine of phi. Y is equal to rho sine of phi. 
third coordinate is z so but z will be z as it is a vertical distance from x y plane so z coordinate will be z now we will try to find the relationship between rho phi z and x y z for that i will start with x square plus y square i already found the value of x and y which was x was rho cos of phi square plus rho sin of phi square i can take rho square common so it will become cos square phi plus sin square phi rho square because this will be 1 right so i can write rho is equal to root of x square plus y square i got the value of rho or the relationship for o rho now my question is what will be the limit for rho as you know rho is a radius of cylinder so radius cannot be negative it must be greater than or equal to 0 now we will find the relationship for phi coordinate for that I will take y upon x y is rho sine of phi x is rho cos of phi rho rho will get cancer it will be tan of phi sine upon cos is tan so phi is equal to tan inverse of y upon x now what will be the limit for phi so let us go to diagram so you can see this is angle made by this plane with x axis right this is a phi now phi can take round till here so it can go up to 2 pi that plane can rotate on that x y plane so it can rotate from 0 to 2 pi it can rotate from 0 to 2 pi now third this was our second we'll go for third one z is equal to z there is no change so that will be third and what will be limit for z so z can take value from minus infinity to plus infinity so we can summarize this lecture what we did we understand cylindrical coordinate system then we see the coordinate planes coordinate lines then we look for the transformation equations between x y z and rho phi z so and when then we found the relationship between rho phi z and x y z so today we will stop here